Hi guys and welcome to today's Hot or Not Saturday where I am gonna dig right into the Australian brand Two Tag and I have two pair of their yogurts and three pair of their leggings and I'm gonna do an in-depth review about what I think about the brand and the products. <music> Tag is, uh, as I said, an Australian brand and um, they ship worldwide and shipping took two and a half weeks to Sweden so I think it's for being from Australia that is like whew, as far as you can come from Sweden I think two and a half week is good. I was super excited to try this out because from the pictures they look so pretty and uh, I had very high expectations about this especially the leggings because those are everything from the pictures when I looked at them those are everything I want from leggings they are high-waisted they have a pocket they have this really legit material and everything so my expectations were through the roof so let's see if they passed the test and if they were rising up to my expectations or not first of all let's talk about the price tag because I think the price tag is very important when you're ordering clothes because sometimes you pay a hell of a lot of money sometimes you pay less money and to be honest the price tag will in the end of the day be a part of the review whether you like it or not whether you think it's worth the money or not on the website it's uh, rated in Australian dollars and one Australian dollar is around 0.8 US dollars and the yogurts is 45 Australian dollars that is around 36 US dollars and the leggings are 50 Australian dollars that is around uh, 30 40 40 I think 39 or 40 US dollars so I have to say that I think the price tag is super it's even cheaper than Gymshark and I think Gymshark is pretty affordable. Both of the joggers is in the size small. This like beige color is called sand and this pinky color is called blush. And um, I like my joggers to be a little more fit size. If you do like your joggers to be a little more loose fit, size up in them. It's very easy. But I like them a little more fit so that is why I have them in size small. They are super high in the waist. Maybe it's just because I put them up high. Maybe they are not supposed to be high in the waist. Let me see if they have them high in the waist on the website. Yeah, they have. They have it on the website as well. So it's not only me that are putting my joggers up. So I do really like that they are high in the waist. Or at least that you can take them up high in the waist. Uh, they are long enough in the legs for me since I am pretty tall. And um, they have like this little thing in the bottom which I like because yogurts if they don't have this little rubber thing in the bottom of the legs they tend to be like I don't know not so flattering so I do really like that and you can tighten them as much as you want in the waist so uh, I think that they are very cute and I think that they are very affordable it's not something that I would go to the gym in uh, I'm not comfortable in working out in this kind of material but for having at home or out for walks or something, they are very, very nice. Or if you have your leggings on and you are in Sweden and it's freezing because it's winter outside as it is now, these are perfect to take on top of your leggings so you don't freeze your little butt off when you're going to the gym and from the gym. They are made out of 71% cotton, 24% polyester and 5% spandex and they are very stretchy. I really like the joggers and I might even get the joggers in the black color because I think that the black color is also very pretty. It comes in those two colors and in black also so missing out on one colors and you know how I feel about missing a color like that when it comes to the leggings and these are the ones that I am super excited about they are called the two tags high-waisted core leggings it comes in four different colors and I have three of those colors the red color is called cherry the gray color is called steel gray and the green olive green and the only one I don't have is the plain black ones let's start with my expectations when I saw them I was a little so-so with the sizing. I didn't know if I was gonna go for the size small or the size medium. And this is why. Because I saw on the picture that they have a seam here. And from previous experience with leggings that have a seam going 
right on your butt like this. If you have them in a small size, it can tend to dig into your butt and I don't like that. So that is why I took two of them in size small and the green one in size medium. But I have to say that I am so sad that I got the green ones in size medium because I love this color, but medium is too big for me. They run pretty true to size, I would say. So size small is the perfect fit for me. And as always, I will leave my measures in the comment sections down below so you can find out for yourself if you're a size small, medium or large. I have been wearing these ones to the gym right after Christmas when I was super bloated. So I was like, hey, perfect, these are a little bit big. So I will wear them to the gym today when I have all the Christmas food in my stomach yumming around but they are a little bit too big and they tend to go down because in the waist area it's a little too loose for me i would say though in the legs part they are fitting me good so it's only in the mid sections where it's big on me so if you look on my measures and you have the same measures around your booty and your thighs but you are a little bit bigger around your waist then size medium would fit you perfectly but for me uh, they are a little bit even when i'm bloated that they are a little bit too loose in the waist for me i am so impressed i had high expectations as i said but these rides right up to my expectations because they are everything that you want from a pair of tights. It's made out of 87% nylon and 13% spandex. It has one pocket. They are very high in the waist and they have that extra little rubbery thing that keeps them up in the waist if you don't have them in a too big size as these ones are. I love the contouring in the part because it's really flattering the booty when it goes around like that. And they also have nice details on the side of the legs. I'm dying for this olive color. I love all of the colors, but I think olive, this color is the most unique one to my leggings collection. That is why I'm sad that I got them in size medium. I was wearing these ones on a very sweaty workout and I could barely not even see any sweat marks. Red ones. What can I say? All of these are the same. The same material, the same fitting. They are very well made. I feel like a very expensive pair of leggings. I cannot believe that they are like 40 bucks. That is so unbelievable. And uh, they are 110% squat proof, all of the colors. So I really, really love that. They are all nice and long in the legs. And I'm dying for this color also. But I have a lot of reddish leggings in my collection but i will use these ones so much i love that they are high-waisted and this steel gray is this like perfect gray it's not too light it's not too dark it's just perfect and um, yeah the same thing here they are nice and long in the legs high in the waist everything is the same with all of these leggings and the contouring on the booty in the back and i think that the footage when i have them on speak for themselves they are super flattering even when you are bloated as i was when i was filming this try on i was very bloated but even when you are bloated it's covering the most uncomfortable areas on your stomach and it's doing it on a nice way it doesn't dig in anywhere and it's really just perfect i have never heard anyone talk about this brand and i don't understand why because their clothing are really really nice and well made and it feels really expensive so i am surprised and that is why i wanted to get it out there that it is some really good brands out there that haven't had a thing on social medias and um, this is one of those brands they don't have a huge collection so as i said i pretty much got all of the colors except for for the black uh, leggings and the black joggers they have some crop tops and things also and um, yeah i cannot wait to see what they are coming up with in the future because if they are going to keep up the game like this i just think that they are superb and i do really think that they are worth every single penny let me know in the comment sections if you have ever heard of this brand before because i had not heard of it or maybe you have a brand in mind that you think needs more attention on social media i love to try out new brands so if you do have any brands in mind leave the comment in the comment section down below and i will definitely check that out so with that being said this is the end of this video i hope you guys liked it and if you did please give it a thumbs up and i hope you have subscribed so i will see you guys in my next video Every single Saturday you will have a review here on my Hot or Not Saturday. So I see you in my next video. Bye!